welcome back you guys um to my channel <sighs> don't forget to like comment subscribe and hit that notification bell so you notified when we drop these banger videos i'm so mad that the lighting in here could be better but i told y'all lighting in my bedroom is just horrible i do not like the lighting in my bedroom it's so bad in here but i was going to plug my i was going to use my ring light well the ring light then died so i'm charging it now oh yeah i got one of the little chargeable ring lights that connect to my cell phone it's like right here so ordered it off amazon i think i'm gonna pay like nine dollars for it so yeah it's charging so the lighting just gonna be a little pitiful right now y'all so ignore the lighting sitting in my room right now i just tied my hair up we'll put this bonnet on y'all it's like 10 32 i'm tired i should have filmed myself making sunday dinner because i prepped my sunday dinner tonight and I wish I had to film that for y'all, but I wasn't really, like, uh, I'm not going to sit here and lie to y'all. I'm feeling a little bit better, but a little bit I'm not feeling that good. It's like an, an up and down type thing. Um, I'm still not, don't have no appetite. My stomach still feels empty. Um, in the grocery store and I was trying to get food, like, looking at certain foods was making me want to, uh, you know, because it was just like, I don't know what was going on. My stomach still feels pretty fuzzy. So, I don't know what's going on with that, y'all, but I'm still not 100, 100% as I should be, but I'm getting there. Um, <clears throat> Madison's in the other room. They She actually just got home a little bit over, like, 30 minutes ago. They've been at this cookout since 5 o'clock, and now it's, like, 10.33. So, I prepped my Sunday dinner tonight. Um, I made, I baked a whole chicken. And I also made baked macaroni and cheese, and then I made some cabbage. So, that's my dinner for tomorrow, y'all. I tried to cook because I felt bad because, literally, normally I wouldn't even went to the grocery store because I still wasn't feeling 100%, but I had to, like, push myself to go because Madison didn't have none of her school snacks. <laughs> she didn't have no juice boxes. She didn't have nothing down there in the utility room where we keep our, like, snacks at. She had enough. Hi guys. Okay guys, I'm sorry. I had to kind of wrap that up. Unfortunately, guys, now my mom is sick. And yeah, she threw uh, up. Yeah, she just threw up. Okay. Yeah, she threw up in the trash can and on the floor. So it's like I guess people kept telling me it was food poisoning that I have. I think it's that's not true because my mom is now sick, so I don't know what's going I on. I think she got poisoned. My dad is trying to help her now, but it's like going through the house. So, I definitely can't have anybody at our house because. I don't want to get sick. <sighs> so, our house is like a sick house right now, sadly. Right around my birthday, which sucks, you guys. My birthday is Tuesday and all this is happening. And I'm just like, this cannot be real. So, fortunately, this is just our reality. Um, That's all I can say about that, y'all. It's so yeah, ironic. And and guys, we might have time for you to do today. We can explain what happened. Um, yeah. But, um, and so guys, so first we went out to the cookout and my mom kept, I mean, my nanny kept talking. And I think she ate during food, actually. And and then, like, my dad was, like, screaming in the car and everything. And, and nanny, and my nanny wouldn't leave. And daddy wouldn't leave. And my nanny kept talking. He was trying, nanny, my nanny was trying, she wanted to go at first. And I was saying, and now she don't, and she didn't want to go at first. And then we finally go. She because <laughs> Yes, yeah, Stink had a cookout day today, y'all. So she's telling y'all about her cookout yeah. day. I didn't get to go, but and she guys, got to go. Guys, Gary, um, Daddy, um, um, he cursed because he had to get Gary had to get back there, and he cursed and he said, "He Gary ride with y'all?" Yeah, but he said that. Okay, Madison, don't say no, but it's, this is a family channel. You guys, look at this cookbook. And guys, and I'll tell you, so we were heading down there, and my dad was screaming like I told you, and then we Ooh. just got home, and possibly, well, this has happened and started, guys, so we maybe, 
Well, we maybe be lucky, but God, this is having a scar. Well, at first, at first, I won't tell you this story because it's not a very good story. But at first, she was throwing up in the butt, in the, um, what is it called? Listen, they don't want to hear all the gruesome stories about your grandma's sickness. Let's just leave it at she got sick. Know. You don't want to tell the whole world about her. Oh, being she sick. got sick in a stack and on the floor. Would you guys eat this? This looks nasty. And guys, um, so oh, that will be it. And is she okay still? Um, I might check on her in a minute, but I'm not still going in there. I don't know what she's got. Peanut butter, honey sandwiches. Look at this thing. Ew. Yeah. Madison does not like peanut butter, y'all. No. Honey garlic pork chops. Now, I'll eat, well, I don't eat pork, but I would if that was a piece of chicken. I thought it was a piece of chicken, but it's pork. Uh, so, Caribbean guys, wait. Stir so, guys, when we got first out, um, she was screaming, help, help. And I just went into the day, and then we just saw it. We just saw that stuff, and we this just cool. went into the bathroom, guys, and we just... I just went into the bathroom. I just saw her laying on the floor. Like, what happened? And she just. Madison just told me. And she just threw up. So that's the end. You can always count on kids to tell everything. But yes, this is that's the true story. Unfortunately, the virus is going through our house. Everyone told me I had food poisoning. But if. I don't know what happened to my mom. Because she was good. And she was helping me take care of Madison while I was sick. She seemed fine today. All of a sudden, she comes 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 home from the cookout. I can't even talk. Comes home from the cookout, and she said her stomach was hurting. She didn't feel good. Next thing you know, she's sick. I don't know. Yeah, what is going and that's on. she she didn't feel good when she came home. She went to the <laughs> bathroom, but um, I don't to tell you that. <sighs> I hope that Madison and I hope Madison and my dad do not get it. That's what I'm hoping because I hate that it's going to travel through the house. Uh, and now I don't know. If, Quillen can come over, which is my boyfriend, if he can even come tomorrow because everybody in the house is sick, so. Yeah, so guys, <sighs> I might kind of not, I think I kind of will get outside kind of because some tomorrow because I don't want to stay in the house the whole time. I'm not Ooh, sick, so. These baked potatoes look good, though. So guys, I think I'll go outside tomorrow and like play some stuff because um, I don't want to go outside because I'm not even sick. I don't, I mean, I don't want to go inside the house to get some. If I'm going inside the house and getting something to drink or something to eat, because this, I don't think it's safe to hug her or kiss her to get drunk. And I don't think it's good. So, guys, tell me in the comments if you've been sick before and you had that. My dad, well, I think that, I think my dad thinks we have Sherelle, I mean, Nani, and Sherelle last time gave it to um Nani. And I think that I think last time she got po poison, yeah. but no, they don't have yeah. poison. They just um, they just don't feel good. And they just sick. I don't know what's what's causing the virus. I didn't think my mom would get it this time. I thought it was food poisoning because that's what everyone kept telling me. My legs itching, y'all. So sorry if I move my foot out here for a second. The back of my leg is itching really bad. Well, yeah, I don't know. Well, well, I think my dad's gone because I hear her kind of, Well, I think he's clean, but I think he's on a spray of the floor because Nani was on the floor and she just threw up. So, I think um, he, my dad, he just threw up and I think my dad might spray the I floor. I think my mom will be better by tomorrow, y'all. It takes a day, but you I get think, better. I think dad's on to spray the floor um, because it's dirty yes. and we don't want to... And I think he's not clean the toilet because really if he sits on there, that's gross. And if I go in there, we're going to have to clean the toilet all because we we'll, don't or but. Oops, sorry, guys. We got to cut that out, so sorry. So, guys, but, but yeah. tell you this, you that. So, and guys, so for clean. Mr. So where's the, the papers the for this? Toilet. Are you sitting on it? Get what off paper? Me. Was it some papers on this thing? Oh. I don't know. I okay, guys, uh, I think that we'll spray the toy. I think I'll clean it tomorrow and do something in the house for me to do. I have to finish my work, so I think I'll do something in the house tomorrow, like clean the toilet, because I don't want to do it. And I think I'll clean the floor, too, because it's dirty, Barely and, and Nani threw up on there. Like uh, I'm going to say, Nani, ha, okay, guys, how about I make the sentence? Okay, how about I said Nani threw up 
in the bathroom and I will clean it up tomorrow and then it will be much cleaner and they'll be thanking for me guys so oh, Lord, tell me in the comments if that was a good sense or a bad sense because I throw up words in there so tell me if the good sense might be I think you might choose bad or good you might choose bad but tell me in the comments if it's Only good or bad I think it's <laughs> bad because you guys probably think it's bad so you might choose bad in the comments Okay, yeah. guys. But guys, anyways, thank you for um um thank you for watching us explain this about non about our nani um about cat about nani. Tell everything else. Man, she's just telling everything. About nani, so she you, is a um, sick. So I think I'll visit listen, her. But um, tell them what you ate at the cookout. Oh, guys, tell them the good food you ate. Um, I had some um. I had some hamburgers, some pork, and I think I had some hot dog, and I had some beans. And it was so she good. She loved beans. She and had I played play to watch it, and um, three plates of beans. And um, you um, every time, hey, guess what, guys? When we were at that cookout, anyways, but ooh, my last bit. When we were at that cookout, um, um, London and Lily and <laughs> Summer, they um left their, they left their. They left their trash open. They left their trash on Susie's table, and they put one of those um, what is it called? Pineapples in the strawberries that Susie got from the strawberry farm. They left their trash everywhere, and they ate up all the crackers, and they just left, and they just left the butter on the spoon. Madison, who I mean, ate my cookies? You know the cookies I had in Italy when the birthday cake ones. Did you eat them? Oh uh, yeah. Does I only have one left? And um, guys, so they took all the candy thing, and they when they slice it, you well, London, London wanted some, so London wanted some, so guys, hold on, I'll take a. This is a really good book, y'all. So Who London, am I without him? So really London wanted one, and then someone <coughs> said no, one, and then like they always tore your food. If they come to any of you guys' house, like. In the comments, tell me if they come to any of you guys' house and tore your food up because that's gross. And and um, people have to like clean their they have to clean their whole house up from people spending the night there. And they should help because that's my night. Just leave and not help to clean up the party. Cause that's not nice. So, guys, that's what you Check should do. Out, that's what you could do in the comments. Help a buddy clean up before you leave. Okay, guys. Madison was having a moment right here because my dad came in and he basically was telling her that she needed to clean her room up because she just left it a mess. So she has a little bit of a moment in this part. Anyways, if you see a buddy lonely and say, "Can you help me?" You don't say no. Don't tell me say no in the. Don't tell say. Don't tell me in the comments that you said no. Okay. Supposed to say yes for her buddy, um, but like Susie, my aunt, um, she had, like she had to cook out and nobody helped her clean up after. Probably mm -hmm. Dora would help her definitely. This is a good book to read to your daughters. It's about, I mean, it's a really good book. I read it. So it's guys, stories. so it's guess what? Like if Dora would help, that will be definitely last time he didn't help really good. So guys, I think it would be a good like idea that. if you helped a little out. more and you would clean it and then mm -hmm. your house would look sparkly if you wake up in the morning, guys. So yes. God, Dora would help. I think he stayed overnight to help kind of because um we all made a mess in summer and Lily, they made a big mess. So Probably during staying over there for a couple of minutes, but he's probably gone now because Susie's probably got everything handled now, but, and she's probably getting ready to get in bed. So, anyway, anyway, yeah, I know this vlog's all over the place because I'm showing books and cookbooks and maths and just talking, but that's we just all over the place tonight. It's yeah, okay. and guys, um, <laughs> so guys, um, so guys, oh, uh, we are a mess tonight, guys. So, um, guys, so. Yesterday, when I, right, my nine lights and nine room. Yeah. So, guys, yesterday, I sleep in the nine in some room because my mom was <laughs> sick. So, I actually, <laughs> there, I was so She could have slept in her own bed, but she chose not to. It was so scary. And like, I, I, the door was open. And I, and I was like, oh, my gosh. I was, like, out of control. And I was, like, so crazy. I was so scared. I was out of control and everything. 
Yeah. And mommy said um, something that she... I can't believe that happened um, right now, but I think... Another I, good book, Living Consequences. Guys, so, um, so guys, um, this is, uh, so guys, hold on, let me do something for Brittany you. Holmes is let a good author, by the way. Let me do something you gotta to gotta show book, you a girl. book, too. Okay. These, a lot of books I have on my bookshelf are from books when I was a teen, but I also have adult fiction books, too. But some of these books, I think y'all should have your daughters read, especially if you got a little daughter. Like, probably, like, I would say teenage daughter, because some of these books will... Yeah, it's real good. It's real good, okay? I just want y'all to know that. Guys, look at this book right here. Guys, you see this? Look at this book right here. Look at her. Uh, that, oh my God. See, this is Michelle Kwan, y'all. Do y'all remember her? She was a famous skater. I love her. Guys, look at the page. She, I don't know if she's still skating anymore. This. Okay, guys, so I found Michelle Kwan, Googled her. She's actually retired now. And she is like the ambassador for Belize. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, but yeah, she's retired and she's a mom now. So I found her Instagram. Oh my God. And she still looks the same, y'all. I have not seen figure skating in so long, but I used to love Michelle Kwan. And guys, they got pictures of her too. So guys, look at this book. It all me got another book to show you too. There's no pictures in this thing. And what oh, is it? Oh, it is. is it? You skip past him. Right here. Oh yeah, that's her. Guys, look at her. Yeah. And there's more pictures. And she was so too. pretty. She was a good skater. Yay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And guys, look at this picture. Can they see this thing? They can't see, only you can see. Yay. And there's something else, another picture of her. Oh, of yeah. a, a favorite picture. She was a famous stater. We pray for her with everything. Look how good she put her foot in the air. Look what she could do, guys. She put her foot right in the air. See how good she could do? Let me show another you another book, book for your girls. It's called The Blueprint for My Girls in Love. My aunt gave this book to me when I was in my teens. Again, another book you can give to your daughters, y'all. It is by Yasmin Shiraz. Very good book. Um, and I love the stories that were in it. So you guys got to read it. Um, definitely a good book. This is the author on the back. But it's definitely a book you should read to your daughters. Or give, give to them. Yeah. Guys, so, look at this book I found. Out. I found this book, guys. I found this book in here. I don't know who gave that to me. I think your grandma gave that to me. My mom actually knows a lady that's a famous author that banks at her job. And my mom oh, says God. she gives her free books that she so writes. So, guys, hold and on. I think that's one of her Let books. me show you another book. And I'm gonna read the book to you. She gave my mom like two or three of her books, like just for free that she written. And she's like a famous author. So my mom was like she writes books and for a living. So some of the books I have that lady actually gifted my mom that she wrote. So yes. Alright, Madison. Show them one or two more books and then we gotta go to sleep. We're gonna wrap this up, y'all. Only cause it's ten fifty four, about to be eleven o'clock. We gotta go to bed. We got stuff to do in the morning. Well, I ain't got nothing to do now, I guess, because I don't think that my plans are going to fall through, especially with my mom being sick. I know my boyfriend is not coming to this house now. He like, oh, Guys, dude. look at this book. Now let me read it. That's definitely an adult book. Do y'all, didn't I hear, okay, wait a minute. That's about Eric Jerome Dickey. Didn't he pass away, y'all? Okay, you guys, yes. So I Googled it. Eric Jerome Dickey actually passed away in 2021 of cancer. He was such a good author. My aunt loved his book. So did I. Yeah, I think he passed away. Um, guys, so stay right here. I'm gonna go check on my mommy. She's gonna check on the grandma. See how she doing, Stank. Okay, I'm gonna go check. I'll come back, okay, guys? Okay, you give us an update. Bye, guys. I keep all these books on my floor. So, Madison's about to go check on my mom and see how she's doing. Let's hope she's doing a little bit better. But, uh.
So, yes, guys, Madison was talking to my dad. He was basically telling her that he wanted her to kind of sleep in her own bed just to be safe so she wouldn't get sick. And then she was telling him that she was getting scared because she don't want to get sick. So she had another moment um, of getting a little bit upset because basically typical six-year-old tantrums or moments, okay? But ultimately, she ended up sleeping in her own bed, and she's now asleep as I edit this video. How about next time when we do a video, I'm going to say we are going to be, it's too late to be showing you my picture that I made. So, wait, the next time I'm going to write a paper, it's going to say, who's the author of this book? Or we can say right now who's the author of this book. Let's look at the back who's the heart author of this book, guys. Can you read it, Jerome? Who's the author? It's Eric Jerome Dickey. I think he passed away. Eric Jerome oh, was that Dickey. The, oh, oh, was that somebody else? Because then Eric Jerome Dickey had some braids. Y'all, I'm a Google, I'm a Google and I'm going to let y'all know. I'm going to let y'all know if he yeah. passed away or not. I think that was, that's the same author. But we got to wrap this up, though, because I got to figure out what man's sleeping at in her bed or mine. I need to figure out. How my mom is doing so we're gonna wrap this up and we're gonna be back at y'all tomorrow at the latest okay don't forget to like comment subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified when we drop these banger videos for y'all me and madison are gonna be out and we will talk to you guys soon bye guys see you tomorrow <laughs>